Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, funny story. I This is actually the second time I'm doing this video because the first time I did it, when I was about to hit stop recording, I realized that I didn't even press start recording. So, let's do this again. This is my natural hair. Thumbs up for natural hair. I was actually gonna leave it down, but then I'm like, we're not that far in our relationship yet and I don't want you to leave me because you're scared of this mane. So for now, it's just gonna be tied up. And I look the way I look because I am feeling thick. <laughs> number one is called Romantic Bird number 12 and I actually got this from a flea market. Ain't nothing wrong with that. This is what it looks like. So this is a really pretty darker kind of red. It looks very bright on screen but it's actually pretty dark. NYX liquid suede in the shade Cherry Sky. NYX liquid suede in the shade Cherry Skies. This is one of my favorite, 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 favorite reds. It dries pretty matte, but it doesn't dry out your lips. This is the shade and it's really affordable. I can't really remember how much it is right now, but you can find them at click stores. And then this is one of my go-to, used to be one of my go-to red lipsticks until I got the next one. And I haven't used it in a very long time because I'm trying to save it for something special. And it actually looks quite pink on camera but it's very red. It's the Essence Adorable Matte number 14. And if you watch one of my first makeup videos, you'd know that this is the shade that I said smells like last berries. Ugh. I think it's expired because now it smells like dust. So... That's what it looks like. That's a bad swatch. It's a bad lipstick now. I'm gonna throw it away. And I haven't seen this in any click stores recently. I'm not sure if they still make this shade. It's in the adorable matte collection and it's number 14. <coughs> lipstick swatches are hard. And if you want to know why I've got the same one for the past three lipsticks, it's because I used about seven wipes in the first video. And um frugal friend. The next lipstick I'll be showing you is MAC Viva Glam 1. This is has kind of like an orangey undertone but it's also a really really nice lipstick and it does last quite a while. I wouldn't say the whole day, I do have to reapply this but just like once. But it's a very lovely shade and it's perfect for winter. It smells really good. So this is what this shade looks like and it's actually now in winter when I want something a bit more subtle but still there instead of the liquid suede one from NYX this is what I've been using a lot lately this is the NYX butter gloss lip gloss in the shade cherry pie cherry skies and cherry pies I'm not really a fan of lip gloss and I don't really haven't actually used this but We're gonna do it for you too. Okay. If you have darker lips, you're gonna have to put a lipstick underneath this if you're going for a glossy red lip because this isn't that pigmented. The second last one I'm gonna show you is one of MAC's most iconic and most famous lipsticks. It's Retro Matte Ruby Woo. So with this lipstick and the next lipstick that I'm going to show you, I suggest that you put like lip balm on or a primer because it does dry your lips out quite a bit and that's not attractive. It's a really really nice shade but I wouldn't wear this as an everyday lipstick, it's just too much. It's a high maintenance lipstick for you. Fun fact, this is the first MAC lipstick that I ever bought. Any girls with like curly, wavy hair like this, what type of treatments do you guys put in it to make it not frizz and 
maintain its shape because I'd love to stop straightening my hair and just let it be but it's just very unruly it scares people off so I look like I also I look like Hagrid from Harry Potter sometimes the last lipstick I'm going to show you is one of my favorites because of who made it it's Lily Stang it's her shade Bows and it's a shade that she uses and it's by Smashbox Cosmetics and their range is the always on liquid lipstick. Now this applicator is perfection because with a flat bigger side you can get your lip and then with a pointed area you can do the corners, your lines and cupid's bow. It's also matte and it's very similar to Ruby Woo as you can see but it's a creamy, extremely creamy formula. The formula I would say is similar to that of a Kylie lip kit but it's just like a mousse, it's a smooth mousse, it's so creamy, it's lovely. It's a lipstick that's very high maintenance and I don't suggest it as an everyday lipstick unless you have time. So just to go over the shades one more time, this is Romantic Bird number 12. This is NYX Liquid Suede in the color Cherry Skies. This is Essence Adorable Matte number 14. MAC Viva Glam 1, NYX, um, what is it, Lip Butter in Cherry Pies, this is Ruby Woo MAC and Bows from Smashbox. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the little bell at the bottom because then you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat and yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching guys.